Um, good morning, I am Karen Finn with the Springfield Central Cultural District and the Cultural Partnership. And say we're celebrating with our own Springfield's NBA basketball player, um, Travis Best and Damian Mitchell, our artist for Fresh Paint Springfield, which is orchestrated by Britt Rue of Commonwealth Murals. And we have the man who made um, the decisions to let this happen. And of course, our great mayor, um, Mayor Dominic Sarno. So yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you, Mayor. I listen, I want to say uh, to Karen, but when we had this meeting, when Mr. Kennedy, Kevin, uh, brought this concept and the whole Echo Dev team uh, to my office for the buy-in, it was a no-brainer to me uh, because arts and culture lead to vibrancy uh, of a neighborhood area or downtown area, which is, which is a neighborhood. I have to tell you, everywhere I've gone, and my chief of staff, Tom Ash, will tell you too, we're getting texts, we're getting phone calls from all walks of life. People are going, wow, it looks fantastic. And it makes you feel good. And it makes you feel good about the city of Springfield. And if you feel good, that means you're gonna have fun and you're gonna spend money. And that's how we spin it to the business people. But to all the artists, tremendous work that you've done. And it's great to have one of Springfield's favorite sons here, Travis Best. He's had a great career from Central High School, All-Star, All-American, you name it, to Georgia Tech, All-Star years, to the NBA where he had a, a great run with the Indiana Pacers when they went to the finals too. And I always remember the championship, the conference championship series where he really played a pivotal role, bless you, controlling that uh, point guard position. But one thing with Travis, he has never forgotten his roots. This Saturday, past Saturday, we were together. He was there supporting my South End Community Center for the golf tournament uh, there. And I know it's quite special uh, for Travis and uh, coach uh, Kevin Kennedy, because Kevin coached some great squads at Cathedral High School. And Travis played for uh, Central under another legendary coach, the late Howie Burns. And they used to play double headers here at the old Civic Center. And uh, it'd be packed, standing room only. And the only pediment to Coach Kennedy moving on to championships was that Central High team with uh, Travis that they joke about. But having him here, letting our young people know that from the streets of Springfield, he had risen all the way to the NBA and has never forgotten his roots and, and gives back. I told a quick story. He was 11 years old. I went to school with his family. All went to the, many of us went to the High School of Commerce. He was 11 years old and I was doing some park and rec refereeing in the evening basketball leads at Warner School. He's playing with the 15, 16 year, old, year olds and he's like carving, <laughs> carving through people. And I said, you got this is somebody you have to watch. Great lineage going back to his father and his uncles who were great ball players here. But he took the time to be here for this mural which depicts basketball. And we tell our young people, whether young ladies or young men, Boy, if you can parlay that, being successful not only on the court, but off the court, you can't lose with that uh, combination. So, Karen, I know that uh, probably uh, uh, you have other people want to say a few words, or Travis or Mr. Kennedy or some of the, and the artists that want to say a few words. So who would you like to go next? Would you like to say a few words? Travis, Travis you're up for sure, the free throws, sure, sure, man. Sure, sure. All right. Free throw. Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to say this, this kind of feels like everything is coming full circle for me. Uh, leaving here when I at the age of 19 and now uh, you know returning back to the city uh, to be appreciated like this with with your image on the side of a building is remarkable for me for my family. Uh, I want to thank everyone for making this possible and uh, it, you know I think it's just going to be inspirational it's going to be great for people to see all of the murals not only mine but uh, in terms of mine I hope that this just brings back you know, a lot of history that I, I have and that high school basketball has had through the years. Even before I got to, to play in high school here, uh, there was a lot of great basketball going on. Uh, my brothers, Mark Hall, a lot of great legends played. Uh, just like he said, I think of my old coach, Howie Burns, being here with Coach Kennedy and, uh, you know, all of the teams that he had at Tech and and that's central and you know all the great things that you know high school basketball has done around here so hopefully this kind of 
conjures up some of those thoughts, some of those those uh, images and some of those thoughts of old old school basketball in Springfield and uh, brings it to, to the present. So, um, you know, I hope people really enjoy the mural and in, in all throughout the city. Thanks. I think um, Damian Mitchell, one of our Fresh Paint Springfield. The artiste. The artiste is here from Brooklyn, and this is his mural. Right. Hey, hey, how's everyone going? As you can tell by my accent, I'm obviously from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've always thought that an artist should be seen and not heard, so I'm going to keep this pretty brief. Um, I was invited up here to come and paint uh, a mural in Springfield. Um, after talking with Anthony and Britt, we decided on doing a basketball theme wall. Um, Brian has been generous enough to give us his building to paint on, and Travis was generous enough to give us his time to let us photograph him. Um, the, the, the mural depicts Trav going through 12 steps of a move, more or less. Um, so it's 12 characters kind of spinning across the wall, launching off at the end, overlaid across the name Springfield. Uh, had a lot of positive feedback from the community. Um, Travis's cousin James has been very generous in helping me out roll the wall, kind of get the base coat down. Uh, and I think if we keep on the current track, current timeline, we should be done by the weekend. Um, yeah, thank you for Springfield for having us, for, you know, treating us so well, all us muralists, um, giving us, you know, a place to stay and a warm welcome while we do our job. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Who's next? Coach Kennedy. Um, thank you. Uh, Karen and Britt have done a great job organizing this, and Damien, this is great, and our staff has done a great job working with them, but... Let me just address the basketball part of it. I, I was coaching at the same time Travis was playing, and uh, we were rivals, and uh, my team beat everybody else except his team. Uh, six times we tried to beat him in his junior and senior year, and they beat us all the time. Uh, the last two times were uh, Western Mass championships. While we were rivals, uh, we always had a great deal of respect. And remember, at that point in time, John Calipari up the street at UMass was rising. And uh, Ron Chamellis from the newspaper was a sports writer at that time, and he covered high school basketball and then, and then John Calipari, and we used to fill the Civic Center. It really was the golden time. And I'm frankly here to tell you that the best high school basketball player I've ever seen in history in Springfield is this guy. Uh, he was... He was absolutely special. Uh, a McDonald's All-America, uh, won three high school Western Mass championships. How many states? Just one. One it's state, one state twice. championship. A went on to Georgia Tech, uh, a number one draft choice by the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, Indiana Pacers. Indiana Pacers, sorry. Um, and had a great, great career. And his dad was a Lehovich Ward winner. He was a Lehovich Ward winner. His brothers, Daryl and Leo, were also very good basketball players. But the best thing about Travis, he always conducted, conducted himself correctly. Uh, he was a very mature and very, very well-respected young man at that time. And I have the highest regard for him. And, and again, he was the best basketball player I've ever seen in high school around here. So thank you. Um, I would just really like to say thank you to Travis and to Damien. We have this amazing basketball player and this incredible muralist coming together to do something beautiful for Springfield. And also really want to say thank you to the community of Springfield who have been coming out and showing the love for Damien and for all of the muralists here. They are thrilled to be here and are just giving their all on their walls to create beauty for Springfield. So thank you. Okay, one last, um, this mural is possible because of the hard work and dedication of Anthony and Alvin, and they are both with the city planning department. Thank you. Can you say a few words? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay. All right. Um, well, good morning, everyone. Um, again, my name is Anthony Moore. Um, I'm the project manager uh, for the um, Office of Planning and Economic Development. And um, again, this wouldn't be possible without, you know, Brit's vision um, of a mural festival. Um, coming here to Springfield, Mass., I mean, born and raised here, this is something that's never happened. Um, you know, as an artist myself, I'm um, a musician, um, I'm a fan of the arts, and, and trust me, I, I love everything that's going on here. It's bringing the community together, it's bringing the residents out. Um, we have world renowned artists here, and um, I mean, this is just a, a great way to, uh, you know, give a tribute to, to one of uh, Springfield's greatest athletes. And, uh, you know, again, it wouldn't be possible without also your talents, Damien. Man, this guy right here is, is, is great, man. He's been phenomenal to work with, and um, I mean, look forward to the next one. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>